Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to recycle, repurpose, reuse, and how important it is and how much of a time saver it is as you do this, okay? So some of the posts that you make, your attraction content is going to be more attractive than others. And how you know it's more attractive is by the engagement that you get on those posts. For example, take this post here. Here's the engagement. All those likes, all those shares, all those comments. This has got over 41 likes, over six comments, and four shares. I think that's pretty good. It's not my best, but it's better than average. So, you know, I may want to save this one and repurpose it. So this one happens to be an image with some text that I gave it. So I could simply, you know, right click over this and save image as and save it on my computer somewhere and be organized. So always be organized. Like on my computer, I will have a folder, for example, called attractive images and I will save that there so that I've got it and then I'll also be able to go back in my Facebook photo album at any time and I recommend that you do this go back there uh, look at through your photos and see which ones have the highest engagement the most comments shares and things like that and start looking at those and dissecting them and figuring out why did it get so much engagement and you may want to think about uh, recycling those you could use, sometimes Sometimes I'll just go back in my photo album and I'll share it like this in a, a new post. Or most of the time what I will do actually is I will just upload this all over again as a new image. And maybe I'll just copy and paste this and give it that text or maybe I'll change that up a little bit. But if it did really good before, most of the time I'll keep it exactly as it is but I'll just re-upload it as a new thing. Whether it's an image or a video or just a text post or whatever it is. So this is one. And by the way, I'm going to show you some examples of different kinds of posts too in this. Might as well while I'm at it. Like this one is a food post. Some of my best posts that get the most engagement are posts about food. And think about what it is that your audience is really interested in food. Since we're doing health and fitness and clean eating and stuff like that, the kind of people that we want to attract to us are people that are interested in eating foods that are healthy for them that taste good. Because that's typically the problem, right? I want to eat healthy, but it doesn't taste good as the junk food that I like. So we want to help people solve that problem. We want food that looks beautiful, that has a good presentation like this, and that's healthy and probably fast to make because a lot of people are busy. They want something quick, right? So you solve those problems for people and show them examples, and you get the engagement going up. And typically at the end of my post, I'll put something like, feel free to share this. And I might put something in there like, private message me if you'd like some more ideas, and feel free to share this if you have some friends that would like this too. So those are some ideas and things you can toy around with as you create your own attractive content. Now, before I go on to the next piece to show you, I want to caution you. If you're new at this, uh, odds are pretty favorable, because this is normal, that you'll put stuff up and you won't really get any engagement. You might not have all these things. I've been doing this for over nine years so far. Um, so, you know, th that's a lot of traction. <laughs> And I've been pretty faithful with it. Actually, Facebook, I didn't get on until a couple of years after I started this. We'll say uh, seven years. Uh, so yeah, seven years that I've been doing this. So I got some traction. If you're starting out, don't expect to get this right off the bat. If you do, great, but it's not normal. Uh, you just got to stick with it. And most people will quit, just so you know. So don't be most people. Find out what most people are doing and do the opposite. You'll be unusually successful, especially when it comes to consistency. Most people that get started they will quit. They'll see the low engagement, they'll have whatever reason and rationale they come up with and they'll quit. So just understand this. I want to uh, prepare you psychologically so that you know you're probably not going to have this. Now if you're doing this for a period of time and you're not really getting any engagement, then you need to get some awesome training and pick up some skills and change things and tweak because all of this is feedback, right? So if I'm putting up posts that's got nothing or very low engagement, I know that there's something there that is, is failing. So I got to improve upon that and build on what's working and discard what is not working. Huge tip. I mean, that's just, you know, a, a, a general tip for just about anything you want to do and be good at, right? As you, as you practice every day, um, you, you scale up on what's working and disregard what isn't working as you go forward. And the only way you're going to find out is you're constantly, every day, you're creating new con content because you cannot tweak in action. You can only tweak action. That's noteworthy. You can, you can only tweak action. You can't tweak in action. And through your action of creating attractive content every day, you're going to get the feedback from the engagement that tells you what is working and what is not working. And from there, 
you scale up on what is working as you move forward and disregard what isn't because you can only tweak action. Okay, so be active every day in creating attractive content. All right, so let's move right along. So the next piece that I wanted to show you is this one. This one is just a simple text that I put in there. If I get some crayons, would you color outside the lines with me? Question, I love making posts that require some kind of engagement. A lot of times we just uh, uh, we, we just want to inform, but there's, we really don't give people a reason to engage with us. Not that this is an informative kind of post. <laughs> so, you know, you want to do variations. I do a lot of learning and teaching and information and entertaining and all that stuff because people go to Facebook to be, um, they go to Facebook to be engaged, educated, entertained, informed, and stuff like that. But sometimes I just throw some little cute little charming oddity out there that doesn't really do any of those things except it goes for the engagement. This is just an engaging post. It's, this does nothing else <laughs> except engage people. And look at this. I got over 162 people that liked it a couple of shares, and 54 comments. So what I am going to do with this one, I already did it. I would simply copy that into my clipboard, and then once it's in my clipboard, I have, I already saved this one, I have a text file. You can use whatever you want, Word document, spreadsheet, whatever works for you. I like using Notepad. And so here's what I did. There it is right there. And these little tags here, update, update. You don't need to do this. You could simply just have you know, this line right here. The reason I have these little tags here is because I actually use um, a, uh, an automated service called socialoomph.com. I'll type it really quick so you can see it. Socialoomph.com. For those of you that want to invest some money, uh, it's something like $400 a year. And I can actually put all of these into that into my account there. And Social Oomph will drip these into my timeline at a rate that I set, and these can all be jumbled up in random orders. But anyway, that's why I've got these tags here, so you don't need to worry about that. If you're going to get a Social Oomph account and you don't mind spending $400 a year to have some automation set up for you, then just uh, connect with me privately, and I'll show you how to set that up. But it's really not necessary. You, you can open your own file up anytime and just randomly pull something from here, like, oh, it's uh, time I put something on my... Facebook, but I don't really know what to put out there. So you could be like, okay, I'm going to open up my text file. Like this one I called FB, like Facebook Best Performers 2, because I got another one, one, <laughs> and there's a ton of stuff in there. And uh, so I decided to open up a second file and add more to it. So this is, you know, call it whatever, Facebook Best Performers or Better Than Average Posts or whatever, and save it in your computer somewhere where your, your computer is organized so you can easily find stuff. There's a lot of people that have no organization on their computer and when they want to call something up, they have no idea where it's at. And that's really stunts your growth. So be organized about it, okay? And, and name things that, in a way that makes sense, like Facebook best performers. So you, you're, you know, there, there's a day coming up where you just don't know what to post maybe, but at this point you've been doing it for so many days and you got a few things that you've saved because they performed really well you just open up your Facebook best performers file and you just randomly pick something and you throw it back out there. Pfft, done, right? It's so cool to do that. I love being able to do that. So set up something really simple for you, some kind of a system with that. It'll start to save you time and so you don't always have to create new content. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, let's see. So yeah, that was an amazing one. I'm going to continue to scroll up here and see what else I got. This one is one of my recycled ones. It's been out there three or four times by now, and every time it goes out there, look at this, four, more than 42 people liked it. 15 shares, wow. Not so heavy on the comments. There, you know, there's more than a few, but damn, those shares are, likes are impressive. This is a video that I did. This was probably a little less than average for me. For engagement. You might look at this going, well, Tom, that's pretty good. But I mean, I've been doing this for seven years as far as the attractive content goes. So after seven years, that's not that much for me. So all of us are at a different point in our careers here. Here's one that did amazingly well. So I, I saved that one. I mean, over 119 likes, six shares, over 36 comments. This is an example of when you score a victory somewhere, I click on see more. When you score a victory somewhere, you want to share it. But you want to share 
what you had to overcome to score that victory. Like in this one, I bought a house a couple months ago. I'm going to buy two more before the end of the year. And I go on and on. I, uh, I paid cash for the house that I live in. I have no rent or mortgage. I don't have a job. If I just left it at that, nobody's going to contact me. Private message me if I can help share with your friends. They're going to be like, wow, he was just born lucky or something. Skip that. So as you score your own little victories, no matter what it is, let's say you lost your first couple pounds or you busted past a plateau at some point in your life, share that. But then look what I did. I shared what I had to overcome to get there. I put down, when I started my journey, I had no income, very little free time, no skills. I was a D student held back a year in special ed classes. But I was eager for correction. I was eager to learn a better way. And then down here, feel free to share and pass this along. I shared <laughs> and I got engagement on it so keep that in mind that's another variation of a post you can make is that you score the little victories share that and and ask people to share it also but don't neglect to tell people what you have to do to overcome you need to post your mistakes and things that you know your hard times and what whatever whatever crap you had to go through to score your victories you need to share that otherwise people are not going to relate to you They'll just say you're lucky. This one is another one that I recycled because every time I put it out there, it does great. What is something you used to do as a child that you wish you could still do? So again, this one, I'm not really teaching anything. This one is just purely engagement. That's it. So this one was really heavy on the comments. I only got one share, but look at that, 86 comments. It was a conversational piece and a lot of likes on there too. Uh, so obviously that's one that I saved in my best performers file. You can see some people like to reshare my stuff on my timeline. Some of them I accept, others I don't if I feel it's distracting from the overall message. This is another one that just gets shared so much. Let's see here. Why is there so much gross income inequality? So this is more of an informative, educational one. And this one was about average for me, so I probably wouldn't save this in my best performers, but it was fun to put it out there anyway. A video. This one I thought did pretty decent. This might be a little better than average of what I do, so I'll probably recycle this one. Brain malfunction, digestion, circulation, liver function, and even a neat way to help release fat storage. Feel free to share this short little video uh, that I cover so much in. So a couple people shared it. Uh, over 28 people liked it. About eight different comments. So not too shabby. I'd probably share that one again. Here's another one that I created at some point in the past and every time it goes out there it just does amazing. True or false. Losing weight means you look good in clothes. Exercising means you look good naked. So this one got people to think about something, and it was engaging. It's not informative or educational, but it certainly gets the engagement. And you can see uh, the likes and the comments and so forth there. It did just that. Now this one I wanted to show you because this was uh, a result of another post that I did. And based on all the comments that I got, it's like, okay, well, I should make a video answering all those comments because it was very helpful. Sometimes... So you're not only going for high engagement, but you want to pay attention to what people are saying, too. And maybe there might be a common theme or a pattern that people are asking about or, or making statements about. Hmm, well, that's on the mind of your audience. Maybe you should do a video about it so, or some other kind of attractive piece of content. So I did a video about it. And I'm not going to go into the content of the video. I just want you to understand the concept here of what happened. And look at that. All those shares, all those comments, all those likes. It did pretty good, if I do say so myself. This one gets recycled a lot because it just does so well. Um, and this one is partially knowing my audience. Cuss words can be obscene or they can be beautiful expressions depending on how you use them. I'm personally a big fan of using the F word as a beautiful expression. Agree, disagree, violently disagree, LOL. So there's some humor in there. It's not really educational. It challenges uh, some beliefs. It does it respectfully and humor and yeah very engaging and that's what I got from that post. Now this one instead of a food picture I did a food video. Learn how to make this super food salad that your taste buds and immune system will reward you for. Feel free to share this wonderful dish and pass it along. I was visiting my friend Avita in San Diego when we did this. It was so much fun. So 
Anyway, with this one, what am I doing here? I'm going for, I want people to share it. I'm going for some engagement here. I'm also sharing a little bit of my lifestyle. I went to San Diego to do this. I live in Wisconsin, right? And that's a pretty uh, thumbnail image over it. Maybe people will click on it because it looks pretty. It's a, it's a superfood salad. It's healthy and your taste buds and immune system will reward you for it. So your taste buds is going to be, you're going to enjoy it. And your immune system speaks to, it's going to be healthy for you. So why wouldn't you want to make that, right? To anybody that's thinking about that, I want something that tastes good, something that is going to help me get healthy. That's the kind of person that's going to see this and be more likely to click on that because it's attractive to that kind of a person. And look at that, uh, some shares, a bunch of likes, people commenting on it. Pretty cool stuff, man. So I wanted to show you this one because it's a great quote, but it doesn't always get the best engagement. So nothing binds you except your thoughts, nothing limits you except your fear, nothing controls you except your beliefs, Marianne Williamson. And that's it. So a lot of people will throw stuff up like that, and a lot of people will scroll past it and go, yeah, that's pretty cool, and I'll scroll past it, and nothing happens. There's no call for any kind of engagement. This is just something that people are going to look at and go, yeah, that's true, I agree. And most likely, they just won't even type that or like it or comment or share it or do anything. And so a lot of people, they have no engagement on this whatsoever. The only reason why I even have a comment, a couple shares and some likes, because like I said, I've been doing this for seven, seven years now with the attraction content. So I've got some traction built up. There's a lot of people that go to my page that don't even wait for me in the newsfeed. They just go directly to my page because they like what I share. So that's the only reason I got anything on this one whatsoever. But this for a text post like this, um, this is well below average. So I probably won't recycle this this one anymore because it just it's not a great performer. However, I could modify it. I could add my two cents. Maybe at the beginning of this, I could put, uh, "What's your thought on this?" Like, here, let me go edit it right now. In fact, real time, man. <laughs> then I can see if it's going to do any better. right there at the top. And there's so many ways I can ask that question. Like, what's your two cents? What are your thoughts on this? Do you have any life experiences on this that you could show us in this thread? There's so many ways to do it. So I'm going to do that more likely I will get some more interaction. And the next time it goes out there, maybe I'll just put it out there like this, who knows? So it's something to toy with. And the only reason I know to make that adjustment is because what I was talking about earlier, I pay attention to the feedback. And sometimes when you get no feedback or little feedback, that is also feedback telling you that something needs to change. And if you're experienced because you're doing this every day, you're gonna have a pretty good idea of what it's lacking and what you, you can change because you can only tweak action. You can't tweak inaction. That's pretty important. So I want to show you this one because remember that post I made uh, earlier that I showed you in this video? I bought a house a couple months ago. I'm going to buy two more, blah, blah, blah. Well, that post did so well as just a text post, I decided to make a video. So I made uh, this video answering the questions that were in that thread about how I did it. Tom, how were you able to buy a house? And these two houses, how did you do it when you were a straight D student and you started with uh, no job and no income and very little time. How did you do it under those circumstances? So I made a video answering that question and put it out there. It's got a bunch of likes and some comments. And so you can, don't be afraid to think outside of the box about how you're going to creatively, not just create content, but how you're going to share it, disseminate it, and different strategies you can come up with for this whole deal. This one is a recycled one. It always does amazingly well every time it goes out there to this day. So you can see there's over 76 people that like it, five shares, and all these comments. Good stuff. Some people want you to see how powerful they are. Loving people want you to see how powerful you are. And this one is pretty bizarre because I'm not even going for any engagement here. I mean, I want engagement, but there's nothing in the post that is requiring or asking for any kind of engagement. Now, maybe if I did, I'd get a lot more comments, but so far people just you know, they're scrolling by it. So this is very like having people like, yeah, I agree with that. That's awesome. Like, and then they scroll on by. And maybe, oh, I like this so much. Uh, maybe my friends might like it. Shares, I got those shares. And the comments, you know, just a few comments. It looks like two, three, four, five, six people commented on it. So not so comment heavy, but definitely like heavy. 
So if I added a question there or went for some kind of engagement or put a call to action, please feel free to share this if you know somebody whose day this would brighten up. So you know what? I'm actually going to do that. And I bet, based on my experience, because you can only tweak action, remember that? I bet, based on how I'm going to modify it right now, it's going to get a lot more, a lot more shares. I'll do it this way. Yeah, feel free to absolutely right now. So there. Now this is, I, I already know this is going to get more shares and maybe even some comments too, even though I didn't specifically ask for comments. But I could also add another line that asks for comments, but I just don't feel like it. And the reason why I put a carriage return there is because I found if you make every sentence its own little paragraph for the most part, it's just easier to read in this thing. So if you do longer posts, uh, and you'll notice my longer posts typically have um, every sentence is its own paragraph. Okay, I can't stress to you the importance of a picture of you that shows your face clearly. Here I am. I guess I'm being kind of charming or something like that. Blowing people a kiss. There's an interesting mural art in the background. You can see my eyes. It's, uh, it's not fake looking. It's not over exaggerated. It's just, you know, it's a good picture. And I just put that out there too. So um, apparently other people like it too. And I got some comments. And so you want a good picture of you. You got to have one. And by good, I mean, we can see you clearly. You look peaceful. You look happy. You don't look over exaggerated or fake. And show all your blemishes, man. Let your blemishes show because that that makes you very uh, relatable too. So don't be so polished in your profile picture. Just make it a profile picture that we can cl clearly see when you look peaceful and you look happy and you look trustworthy. This one always does well. Um, so and this one just went out yesterday. And heavy on the comments, not so heavy on the likes. There's over 17 likes. One person shared it. And there's 59 comments so far. Read carefully and be creative. I want all my friends to comment on the status and tell me how you met me, but I want you to lie. <laughs> this should be fun to read what everyone comes up with. So every sentence is its own paragraph. And this part here, to make a point or to embolden something, that's all caps. I want you to lie. So this post is flat out going for the engagement, especially with comments. So people made up all these funny stories. They're funny to read through. I'm not really educating here or informing. It's just entertainment and engagement, and it worked. So everyone here that sees these, they're being conditioned to look at my page more, because the more engagement I got on my page, the more people are going to see it, the more I'm going to show up in the news feeds. And, and because I'm showing up in news feeds more, the more people are going to see it more exposure I have, which means the more uh, people are going to be reaching out to me, um, asking me about maybe something else they saw. They, they were attracted to this, but they clicked around. They saw a video about health and fitness they really like. They want to talk to me about it. And also people that I'm not friends with are going to see a lot of this stuff. And some of them are going to think, yeah, he's cool. I'm going to friend request him. So I get friend requests every day. So being consistent with attractive content and paying attention so you, that you can learn from all the feedback and tweak your action every day. I can't stress that enough because when you do that consistently, attractive content consistently, it's going to take care of just about everything. It's going to automatically take care of the friend requests that you're going to get so that you don't have to be the one always uh, looking to develop new contacts. Some of them will develop new contact with you as you do this. So that will relieve that burden and create some free time, right? Create free time. It's also going to eventually inspire people to reach out to you and they're going to make themselves a lead because they just express an interest in health, fitness, making money, whatever, versus you having to be the one always having to go out and start the conversation. You want to do those things. You want to develop contacts and start the conversation about health and fitness with people and invite people. But over time, you want to be in a place where it's optional because you got so many people coming to you that now it's optional. You want to get to that place where it's optional if you want to invite people or or develop new contacts. So um, as you get good at uh, creating attractive content, it's going to take care of all that for you. So those things do become optional, and you're, you'll just create more free time that way too. It's a beautiful thing. But like I said earlier, most people will not do it. They won't see it through. They'll quit. So don't be most people. <laughs> most people are poor and unhealthy. You don't want that. Here's one where I shared lifestyle. I wasn't. Uh, 
I wasn't um, educating anybody. This is entertainment, it's lifestyle, and I'm also going for engagement. So Damage Justice, Stellar Metallica Tribute Band. Uh, I'm the videographer and the musical orgasm enthusiast. So that's entertaining, right? I'm going to see them again. Enjoy, and please feel free to share and pass this along if you have some friends who would like this too. Notice when I do ask people to share, I don't have the expectation that people are going to share, right? Like how many times do you see a post where people are like, share this, or if you believe in something good, share this. If you believe in human rights, share this. If you don't share this, it means you're against human rights or whatever it is that they're talking about. Those posts annoy me. They annoy a lot of people and they don't get much traction because it's like, wow, what an arrogant prick to say that. So in my opinion, it is far better to communicate, hey, if you like this, if you got value from this, if you have some friends that would enjoy this too, feel free to pass this along. Because you're basically saying, I'm not needy, I'm not greedy, I'm not desperate, I'm not arrogant, I have no expectations upon you, I value your freedom to make up your own mind. It's like, if I've earned the right because I've made something valuable to you and maybe to your friends, hey, feel free to share this. That's basically what I'm communicating there when I do that. And so four people shared it so far, because this is a new post. Over 37 people liked it, and I got uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 comments on it so far. So that's pretty cool. So you want to share a lifestyle too. You're getting a lot of different <laughs> examples of variety here. And I'm still learning and teaching something every day in the midst of all the variety. So there's a lot of tippets. Here's another thing about me. So uh, I like music. I play guitar. Maybe you do card tricks. Maybe you like to knit and sew arts and crafts. Or, you know, some, there's something to you that's beyond just being um, a home business owner and being excited about health and fitness and, and making residual and passive money and freedom. You got a hobby or something that you like, uh, maybe stuff you do with your kids, or maybe you're an animal lover. Who knows? Share some of that stuff. And so I did a video of me playing my guitar, and people love it. Over 61 likes. Somebody shared it. Uh, 11, 12, 15 comments. And that this is still a new one. This is less than a day old. And again, turn it up and feel free to share this with your friends. This one here, going against the grain of all the negativity on Facebook and social media. I have a wonderful idea worth spreading that includes everyone. It can begin now. It's free. Let's take responsibility uh, for unifying ourselves and, and instead of having a neediness in the government to do it for us. And uh, all these other things. We can scrap this stupid idea of tolerance and flat out celebrate whatever makes it so different. So here I'm doing a challenging belief because most people are preaching tolerance. And I'm preaching let's celebrate. Tolerance is stupid. Let's celebrate our differences. And a lot of people jumped onto that. It's cool. And again, every sentence is its own paragraph here. And I'm asking, how's that sound? And I'm doing it in all caps, just that one little phrase in all caps, so it stands out. If you do everything in all caps, nothing stands out. And so I'm going for the engagement there. And then by the way, so by the way is an awesome way to segue into other stuff. So I went to my little diatribe there about stuff. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. Please feel free to share this. The news feed in general and how people are behaving needs to evolve. And evolve I put in caps to underscore that. So, unfortunately, there's nobody sharing this one, which kind of surprises me. But that's the feedback I have to pay attention to so I can look at that and go, huh, what could I change to, so that people actually share it? But I got some likes and so on. Uh, so that was a post that I did yesterday, so that's still pretty recent. And look at this one. Um, just putting something. This is a rarity. I don't typically go outside of... Uh, the five or six topic matters that I like to talk about, but this one I just felt I had a very strong opinion on. So I basically uh, put that particular video about about the death penalty. And let's see here. Almost done. This one did in insanely well. I just put this out 11 hours ago. Now this one I had a feeling would do very well because I've noticed a pattern here. People have these insecurities about what they see as problems. Like if somebody is diagnosed with depression or ADHD or OCD or bipolar or anxiety, anxiety is a big one. A lot of people really hate that one. ADHD is seen as a badge of honor nowadays. Anxiety is not. But anyway, I got all these things out there that a lot of people feel very uncomfortable about and they think it makes them inferior or there's something wrong with them or that it's a demon, right? So I'm getting into the head of the conversation that people are having with themselves, and I'm interrupting that conversation. 
So here's what I do. I connect with them. Maybe it's not a demon. Maybe it's like a superpower right off the bat. Remember what I've been teaching you? The first thing it has to be something that is a scroll stopper because there's so much information out there that moves so fast. That makes somebody curious and it doesn't give away what I'm talking about. So you got to read on to know what I'm talking about. And all the sentences are separated into their own little paragraphs for the most part. And this little part here, I've got in all caps to make it stand out. So boom, first line, okay, that gets me curious. I'm going to read on. I mean, don't get me wrong, depression sucks and anxiety sucks, but read some of these facts I learned. People with depression are usually smarter than the average person. You think somebody with de depression who's not feeling good about it is going to enjoy reading? Hey, I'm smarter than the average person. <laughs> I have a better perspective of the world. I see situations more realistically. And same thing with people with ADHD. Disruptive situations, three times more likely to form their own business. They embrace adventure. They adapt to multitasking. People with ADHD are going to be like, yeah, heck yeah, that's cool. People diagnosed with OCD. They have a higher level of determination, naturally good memory, doubly as compelled to learn new things. People with OCD are really going to enjoy learning that about themselves. So it can totally flip somebody's attitude that they feel about themselves or their feeling of self-worth. Self-worth is important. We should all feel important and relevant and loved and meaningful. We have to feel those things. Here's another one. Uh, people with diagnosed with bipolar, bipolar disorder, four times as capable in art, intense creativity level, increased ability in observing. Somebody with bipolar is going to love reading that. People or somebody who has a, a, a child with bipolar is going to love being able to tell their child this. So the parent and the child will be happy. People diagnosed with anxiety, high levels of empathy and able to understand others' pain and joy easier. They understand things on a deeper level, doubly strong levels of intuition and accuracy. And at the bottom, feel free to share this if you have some friends who'd love to know about their superpowers. So I'm changing the call to action, keeping the concept and the formula the same, but changing it to fit the post. So being creative, by the way, if you ever get bored doing this, that's on you. You need to flex your creative muscles. I'm showing you many examples to get those juices going. So I hope you're jotting down ideas as you're looking at all this stuff. And watch this video again. Okay, moving right along. So you see what I did just there. Now, I got 26 shares. That is way above normal for me. I'm saving this one so I can recycle it later. I got tons of likes and I got tons of comments. So instead of one heavier over the other, I've got all three. I've got tons of comments, tons of shares, tons of likes. This is by far one of my better posts. That's incredible. So heck yeah, I'm going to save that, and I will recycle that again later. Now, how often do I recycle stuff? I don't know. Maybe once every couple weeks, once every couple months. I mean, use your best judgment on that. If you just did something yesterday, then... Maybe don't recycle it yet, even if it did really good, because you just put it out there yesterday. Maybe wait a, a couple weeks or a week or a month or something. And then, let's see here. This one was really cool. I like doing this one a lot. It's brand, well, 11 hours. The self-absorbed rational self-absorbed rationale we sabotage ourselves and everyone around us with. Please feel free to share and pass this along, unless you think your friends might get, bad, get mad at you for sharing this. <laughs> So I'm kind of challenging people to share this in a way, you know, letting them know like, ooh, what's in this video? So it also raises curiosity in the video, like, why? Why would my friends get mad? Why? What's what's in the video? And then the first line here, the self-absorbed rash, rationale we sabotage ourselves and everyone around us with. People have no idea what I'm talking about. They have to click the video so they can click it and they can watch it and so forth. And then I did, uh, somebody reshared one of my videos. Cool. A wise man once said nothing. Can you believe that? This one generally does pretty good when it goes out. It's only five hours old. Uh, and sometimes, you know, the weird thing, I remember the first time I made this post, it got, I don't know what it was, 60, 70 likes or whatever and some comments. So far, this only has a little over 17. So sometimes posts do better than other times, even if it's the same one. So we got that going for us too. All right. So that is all I've got for you for this video. So to close in this video, because this is kind of a longer one, but man, I gave you so many real-world examples. You can see the social proof that this stuff works, and we can learn from action. That's the only way we can learn. That's all we can tweak is action. So create attractive content every day. 
learn and teach something every day. Share your beliefs. Share, share food in a way that solves the problems that people are thinking about when they're thinking about food. How do I get something healthy that tastes good that I can make quickly because I'm busy? Share it. Think along those lines. Maybe some fitness tips. You know, people, what are what's your audience thinking about when they're thinking about fitness? Do they lack the motivation? Do they just not know what they're doing? Um, are they thinking about how soon can I get results? Can I do something that I'm going to enjoy and not get bored? So start thinking about solving those problems as it relates to fitness or or food or whatever it is that you're going to talk about. Some really cool mindset stuff. And share your lifestyle, share your blemishes, share your victories, but never miss an opportunity to share what you had to overcome to score those victories. Otherwise, you're just going to be labeled as lucky, believe me. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I know because that was my action in the beginning, but because I was taking action, I could learn from it based on the feedback I was getting, so I tweaked it. And so now I never share a success without sharing what I had to do to overcome it. Even if it's something little, like I just uh, busted past a plateau in my fitness, or if it's something big, like I just bought a house, I'm going to buy two more this year, and everything in between, I'm never going to leave it at that. They have to know what I had to overcome to get there. So you need to think about those things too. And think about how you can inform, educate, entertain, and ask for the engagement. And as you do this every day, commit to yourself, you're going to do this every day uh, a year from now. Like you're still going to be doing this every day a year from now. I'm dead serious about that. Not a week or a month or even 11 months, but you're still going to be doing this every day a year from now. Combining all those things, and figuring, figuring out ways that, that work for you. And as you do this, you're going to discover things that are working that you scale up on and things that aren't working so you don't do those anymore. <laughs> Hope all that makes sense. I've got tons more social media training on my website at tombirkenmeyer.com. Just like you see spelled here in my social media, but take out the space, make it all lowercase, tombirkenmeyer.com. And feel free to share this with your team. So till the next one. Thanks, everyone.